turns up in here. All right. Chef, give me a bit of glaive action. Let's see what he's up to here in CT. Pumao's looking on oh to him. <laughs> glaive is gone, deleted. At the first hurdle, Astralis now a man down, but time is on their side. It's quickly ticking away from Zero Zero Nation. Zip's gonna hold on to the rap side. Now trying to offer up a bit of support. Blame F inside of the site, bested oh, after his oh. first. They don't check for Farley, they don't know about him. <laughs> and he's right here, knife now oh. out. He's fallen Hello? a little short, Hello? stubby arms, and he's been knifed back. Oh my God, it's a pistol round for Astralis at the end of things. Somehow, Farley went from being the... But let's see if he can put up a show. Oh, Config's up close. Tries best to blame F in the meantime. This retake starting to take shape again for Zero Zero Nation. They got it close in the pistol. They get out with a knife kill here. They're looking to walk it over the line with the force by. Config's low on health, but still wins his first fight out towards CT. Cold Zera now dead. Will deal with config, Ooh. so it's gonna fall to zip. Bombs planted for him down here in Con. Swinging out, Tri takes his head off. And so there it is, the round stolen away by Zero Zero Nation. They come in with a four. So you're working this mid control. Gonna look to try and come in up the short side. As the play takes shape, but with config knocked out immediately, Blame F is left in a position to try and deal with rotations, right? He's not going to be able to come in on a backstab in time. He's just here to cut down players as they move around the map. That hinges on Astralis getting this bomb down in B, and right now they've got 10 seconds to make that happen. Zip needs this frag on Attacko. He's running out of time. Ooh. The delay play works wonders, and Zip cannot win this round no matter what he does. Zero, zero nation, steal away a third, and this kind of go-to for Astralis. Attacko is gonna be set up to win that round. The flash, he looks into it. That flash does not go deep enough, and now it's worst case scenario. They spam the smoke, they kill one, but they dink Taco through the wall. They should know he's also close. Has Barley heard it? Now he does. Blame F, shot from jungle. The split coming in, the molly is perfect, and Taco gets burnt out. It could not have gone worse, but try a second. Oh, a second too late. At a centimeter too high, he almost stopped that plant from ever materializing. Instead, it will just be a save. And yeah, I that oh, that's just a calamity. That's going on. You've been framed in a ramp. Cold Zero full blinding Dumao, who then panics and Taco gets spammed. Ugh, could not have gone. It's kind of pivoting a lot, and so you're responsible for ramp and palace. Uh, right, oh. is a fast day play. It's ugly for Cold Terror oh. to open. Blade completes both the kills <laughs> on the wrap round. It gets a little bit wild there, but he does wrestle with that Mac 10 and regains control of the situation. Yeah. Astralis have done a lot of these A splits, right? And they've often given a good amount of time for Blame to come in on late con lurks, walking in through under, walking through smokes. Zero Zero Nation know what's been going on, though. And I love the pace change for Astralis from slow default A rounds into just a speedy rush through the utility with spray for Cold Zero. Needed more than one on default there to make that happen. And Glaive even running through the a smoke with a Mac 10. Just redonkulous. Astralis do catch Zero Zero Nation off guard, but you can't run that every round. It's got to come in the midst of some slow defaulting just to make Zero Zero Nation be caught off guard. A couple of guns. This Blame F's also on this con wrap with Config now dead. Blame F's harboring a lot of the responsibility here to try and deal with this stairs player. He's done damage. Taco still very much oh, alive. No. Oh my god, and he's gonna take one with him before that wow. nade finds him. Doom out with a double, and this round is now on a razor's edge. It's just Blame F left standing. 1v2. And the bomb out in the open. <laughs> He'll go hunting for Doom out in jungle. And now tees himself up for a 1v1. Yeah, has never seen Lato in this round. No idea where he's coming from. Clearing every corner, and Lato has gone right into the smoke. Blame's making noise. Lato could walk right through if he wants, and he will, and he'll hit the headshot. Maybe trying to throw their own orb Ooh, at it. It's only eight. a tag, and it's actually going to go the way of Farley. That was a flip, uh, flick, by the way. That was that should not have connected for, uh, for try. Farley was so favoured in that fight, but yeah, legged as you say. They spot Doom out default. His head sticks up behind the box, but he puts config down. Glaive has to trade. Cold Zero in sandwich takes a chunk out of the in-game leader and follows up, dropping the bomb. He's buying time. It's beautiful. Molly's going to kill him though. Nothing can be done about that frag. And now Blame has to pull off a one v three with twenty seconds.
Yeah, there's that second kill. Lato removed, tries in CT though, and will hold the line. This guy's AWP is looking lights out. Yeah. Yeah, Dumao smoked out, as is Try with this AWP. So Cold Air is really feeling the, the bulk of the pressure here, right? Over at CT, he was set up to play retake anyway, but if he could take one out of the round and then just tuck himself in, that would set up 0-0 zero, zero Nation wonderfully. Echo does have a flash oh, read it. flash him in. Blame's dead down in lower. So Astralis, they're not out nice. of the woods yet. They might have this bomb down, but they're a man down. Now two men down, and they're forced to fight forward. They're going to try and strip some players out the ranks of Zero Zero Nation. Zip's been whittled down, and it's only Farley left. Big old Conrad, but tries already. They don't know. He's holding his shot. Farley takes him. The config fires off. Now they've got him trapped in a corner in a cage, and he's going to get spammed through that smoke. Four on four for the half for the round. Try opens up, Blame struck and from the tally. Farley now has to hold on over this angle and he's just missed this timing. Taco's coming in on a backstab, but right now, Zip, Farley oh. and Glaive in with kills. There's Taco rapping and he finds that transfer. Now just a defuse between him and stealing no this round away. No. Zip's off yeah. the mark, but he will find it eventually. As to take the pressure right now is on Astralis who don't have a kit at the moment. Don't even think there's one dropped on Zip either. So. The more util that goes out, the more problems presented for Astralis. At what point do you cool this one off? Half the bomb almost ticked. They're going to use a smoke. Astralis seem to be interested, but with no one moving and no kills given up, this is 13 rounds, I think. Yeah. Uh, you know, they, they never had a kit from the start of the round. That was something we mentioned. They had to hold Zero Zero Nation back. They couldn't let a plant come in like this. And now it's all gone very, very wrong. Cold trying to get away. He'll be fine. He's all good. And so three alive at the end of things for both squads. Get ready. Oh, the flash. Oh, oh the, no one's looking. No one's looking. Oh. That was the opportunity. That was a golden chance for a multi-kill. But he can't convert the spray. And Dumao is quick to react to the presence in top mid. They had to sacrifice Cold Zera to get this mid control. But it's well worth it in the 4v4. Now Ooh. they've got to pick a site. And as they try to go down the catwalk, they're turned to dust by Blame F, who's even going to have that bomb dropped over on the short side now. For Lato, he's got to get the bomb, get it planted, and then embark on a 1v3. Easier said than done. Ooh. Tagged on the cross as well to add insult to injury. And he's going to go seeking out config, tries to find him, but he's wrapped from the short side. And so Astralis, everything but ideal. He's holding for this nice. fullback and he's going to nail Doom out. Can't follow up and now takes a tag of his own. They know about this flank. They might even go hunting for it. If they find him, that's going to cause problems <laughs> for Astralis. And they run him down. Try once his hands on that AWP. Now he's armed. He's deadly. And you're in a four on two with Blame still alive and Zip also top in the charts alongside him. Astralis's two heavy hitters here are still in play, but they are worlds apart. And there is a route to plant in this A site open right now to zero, 0 Nation if they can get past Zip. This flank is lovely though, a flank on a flank, right? This is the last thing Astralis, uh, sorry, zero, 0 Nation will expect from Astralis. Blame is coming in the back line right now. Zip just has to live and buy time. He's got a smoke in case that spreads, but he's gonna walk into it and catch Colt getting aggressive. Blame's gone all the way to Palace now. A huge flank coming in through on the back line. Taco not killed though, and that's a, uh, a big problem here for Astralis. Zip's now got to activate. They're just trading peaks at the moment. No one giving up anything for Zero Zero Nation. They're buying time. Yeah, they know that fighting is not the way to win this 3v2, right? It all resides in the timer right now. And with Blame still making noise over in Palace, he's unable to do any more than that little kind of one duck in, take a kill with him, and then get the hell out of there. Astralis, this one falls away from them. They make it a close job at the end of things, right? You almost believed in that little 2v4 out of them. Yeah, it I, will fall short. I love the synergy that we're seeing in these T-side rounds, right? We and Astralis never even woke up. Farley fights the ramp molly, but Tri is going to trade out Glaive after the fact. Blame boosted under. Does kill Taco, but that's info now to Cole. Both players are lower. Config makes noise. Blame stands up into the bullet, and Cold Zero, perfect crosshair placement, needs another. He's got it. Two kills in middle. This is it, folks. Zip has to 1v3 with 15 points of health, or this one's done. 
Yeah, up through Khan Man. It's a replay of so many rounds gone by. But this time, it needs to come up in favor of Zip. He used to be the man he'd want in these clutches. But up against two of the heavy hitters for Zero Zero Nation, these guys have not been ones to throw away these post plants. And with him so low, he might just die on this initial peak. Now he's been spotted by the Orpin Palace. It's all starting to come undone. Zip is desperately looking for a route back in. And fights just aren't being given over till the one moment that they are. And there it is. That's the closer. It's a lock-in for Zero Zero Nation. One hell of a debut here in the...